Interstate 95. And right underneath here is the Alchemist Grist Mill, originally built in 1650 by John Winthrop the Younger, first colonial governor of Connecticut. This is not the original mill building. It was built in 1650 by John Winthrop the Younger and a business partner named Mr. Comstock, I believe was the name of the guy. The original mill building from 1650 was burned by Benedict Arnold and his troops, 1781, I believe. So we're going to take a walk around here and see uh, how people survived 370 years ago. Cobblestone steps. Unfortunately, the water's not running enough to turn the wheel. Very slippery here. Gotta be very careful. Much left in the brook here. But see the water was redirected over, and it would have fallen on top of the wheel, turning the wheel. Pretty sure the foundation is the original foundation built by Winthrop and his partner. Somebody left some cigarette smokes there near the wheel. It's a close up look at the wheel. And the big beam that turns. I'm not sure if we can get inside the building and see what's in there, but uh, we'll try. Interesting how the building foundation has sunk into the ground over 370 years. The wall around it is about two feet in length. Fortunately, I'm not able to get into the building. It's locked, nobody's around, and I'm certainly not gonna break into it, but uh, just looking through a wet window here, this is what it looks like inside. The wheel is there. This is where they made their flour to feed the people way back in the day. Thanks for watching my video, folks. World made by hand. This may be what we will devolve back into someday. Those of us lucky enough to survive any sort of collapse. Take care.